You are about to listen to another episode of That Sports Guys podcast, hosted by Craig Forrestal. Find Craig on Twitter at that underscore sports underscore guy. The That Sports Guys podcast is proudly featured by NFL Draft Diamonds, your draft coverage king. So sit back, relax, and enjoy some football talk. Hello and welcome to another episode of That Sports Guys podcast. I am Craig Forrestal. You might know me from Twitter as at that underscore sports underscore guy. And with us today is former Kansas State defensive end Wyatt Huber. Wyatt, what's going on with you, man? Good. How are you doing? Thanks for having me. Hey, anytime. I'm glad you were able to make a couple of minutes for us. I know that you're a busy guy just finishing up with your pro day not too long ago. We'll get to that. But Wyatt, first things first. The Kansas State website listed Topeka as your hometown. What's it like growing up in Topeka, Kansas? Yeah, Topeka, Kansas is definitely a, a melting pot of different cultures, different backgrounds. Um, a pretty big city, about 160,000 people. Um, I mean, not huge in any means, but, you know, re- really decent sized city. Um, I'm actually from the far outskirts of Topeka, so... Um, you know, I experienced um, every bit of every lifestyle, you know, the inner city, um, out in the country, um, in the suburbs and all that kind of stuff. So, um, like I said, it was just a big melting pot of different types of people. And uh, that definitely was super benef- beneficial for me growing up. And now you come from a pretty big family, having four siblings. You also have a brother, Austin, that played college football at Washburn. Wyatt, can you talk about how competitive things were between you all growing up? Was it that typical sibling rivalry type of thing? Yeah, definitely. And, uh, you know, having an older brother and also have, you know, having a younger brother also. Um, and me being the middle brother, um, growing up, everything was competitive, whether it was outside, inside, um, nearly almost any, anything we did, uh, athletic or non-athletic related, you know. Um, we hated losing to each other because, you know, the one person that had to lose had to hear it from the two others. So, uh Um, you know, just having that competitive atmosphere around me growing up was definitely something that was super helpful and beneficial. And now, Wyatt, can you talk about all the different sports you played growing up and when you started to think that football might be your best sport? Yeah, I played a lot of different sports growing up. Uh, You know, my main sports were football, basketball, uh, wrestling, and track and field. Um, but it was probably around my freshman to sophomore year when I started to realize that football was the main sport that I excelled at. And uh, around then in my high school career is when I definitely stayed, started to take a lot more serious. Um, and so I just worked hard, did extra work at that rather than the other, other three sports. Uh, and it definitely paid off. And now let's move ahead towards the end of high school. Wyatt, what was the recruiting process like for you in high school? The recruiting process was definitely... Um, just like any anyone else, uh, definitely wild times, you know, from anywhere from, you know, the sophomore to senior year of high school, uh, visited multiple different schools. Um, other schools I visited besides Kansas State were Nebraska and Missouri, Iowa State and Kansas. Um, but, you know, I visited Kansas State quite a bit more times than any of the others. And, uh, you know, after being um, to several camps at Kansas State, visiting multiple times, just being around there and being around that culture and atmosphere and uh, just playing at Kansas State was definitely uh, what I definitely felt like I wanted to do in my heart deep down. Uh, so I came into there my junior year of high school and my recruiting process was, was actually very short and sweet and very easy. Um, after I committed to Kansas State, you know, I was just ready to get rolling. And uh, after that, I just took off from there. And you had a standout college career. You were a freshman All-American in 2018 and then put together back-to-back first team all Big 12 performances. Wyatt, what made now the right time for you to enter the NFL draft? Yeah, a lot of different, um, you know, a lot of different factors went into it. Um, you know, I had a lot of input from a lot of people that I care about and that I'm very close to, uh, my family, my coaches, uh, my friends, uh, my agent, all those kind of things. You know, I just wanted to listen on what they had to say, what their opinion was on it. And I definitely weighed and um, outweighed, you know, the pros and cons of both staying and leaving. Um, and I think the pros of leaving definitely outweigh the pros of staying. Um, you know, when I first got to Kansas State, getting on the field and getting playing time and not just being on the field and getting playing time, but being a very impactful player was something that I always wanted to do, always dreamt of. And, uh, you know, I accomplished. I was a three-year starter at Kansas State. 
Um, I did graduate with my degree, so that was one, one of the main indicating factors that indicated whether I was staying or leaving. And I was lucky enough to graduate in three and a half years from Kansas State. And, um, but that was, the main, that was the main indicator, you know, get my degree. Uh, but like I said, you know, being a, uh, being a three-year starter, uh, two-time first-team All-Big 12, a two-year captain, um, I felt like I accomplished a lot at Kansas State so far. And uh, just from a maturity level and maturity-wise, I felt like I was ready to take that next step. And like you mentioned, you graduated in three and a half years, which led to your Senior Bowl invite. Wyatt, can you just sum up the overall Senior Bowl experience and how you feel you performed? Yeah, the Senior Bowl experience was awesome. You know, uh, you know, definitely getting close with Jim Nagy, you know, the head director of that. Uh, it was a super awesome experience getting to know him, um, you know, and, and even getting to know, you know, the other best college football players in the nation and competing with them every single day, both with and against. Um, that was such an awesome experience, you know, being, being invited to the Senior Bowl is truly a blessing for any college football player, just because it's so selective and so, uh, so minute on, you know, the invites that they send out and to who they send them to. Uh, but like I said, it was an awesome experience. Uh, me personally, I definitely think I raised my draft stock at the, uh, those four or five days there. Um, I think I performed well in practice and I uh, definitely perform well in the game. Uh, so overall, it was a great experience. I was so happy that I did that. It was super beneficial for my career. And now you were training at the Exos facility in Pensacola, Florida, leading up to your pro day. Wyatt, can you take us through what your workouts were like? Yeah, the workouts were um, actually, honestly, a little bit easier than college workouts uh, because, you know, they're more specified um, and toned down to, you know, the only thing you had to worry about was to run a fast 40, run a fast L drill shuttle, um, bench press a lot of reps at 225 and jump high and jump far for the broad. Um, it was very, very specific training on what we did. Um, nothing we did was actually football related. Um, like I said, everything we did was, was, you know, toned down and specified to how fast can you run your 40 in and all the other drills as well. So, uh, but, you know, we, we did our running workouts in the morning, uh, Monday through Friday, and then we always lifted in the afternoon. And then every once in a while, we, we would have some position work thrown in there as well. Uh, then on Saturday mornings was was uh, the film sessions, you know, um, watch ourselves on our 40s, on our starts, um, watch our angles on our L drill and shuttle, um, you know, critique and fix the technique on our bench press and all that kind of stuff. So it was a very critical, um, very critical training process. But, you know, Exos is the best to do it. And I recommend any other college athlete to go there uh, because of the top notch coaching and everything that they did for me and all, all my other colleagues as well. And now, Wyatt, you clocked a seven flat three cone drill time, which is very solid for your size and position at your pro day workout. What was your mindset leading up to the pro day? And did you accomplish everything that you had wanted to? Yeah, my mindset was obviously just as tough as well as, as possible. Uh, but, you know, the biggest thing for me was exceed, um, exceed, I know what I can do well at. Uh, you know, there's a lot of guys that are freaks out there and can test well at every single drill and every single testing measurement that they do. Uh, but there's a lot of guys, you know, that struggle with some that are that are um, very good at some of them. And the L drill and shuttle were two of my, you know, my main factors that I was super well at, super advanced and lead at, um, talking about time wise for for how big I am. Uh, so, you know, my goal was to run a sub flat, run a seven sub flat, um, you know, L drill and run a pretty good five to five as well. Um, and I definitely did those two things and, uh, you know, being laterally quick is something you definitely want to show the scouts and coaches, especially playing, you know, my position as an outside linebacker or as an edge defender. So, um, you know, those two things are super important, a little bit more important than, than a lot of the others. So I'm definitely glad that I excelled at those two things. And Wyatt, when we watch you on film, two things that immediately jump out are your energy and passion that you play with. But go on, besides the energy and the passion, give us a self-scouting report. Yeah, well, um, you know, going into every single game, you know, I, I watched a lot of films, studied a lot of offensive tackles, personnel, keys and tendencies on certain down distances, all this kind of stuff. So, um, you know, college football is definitely was, is going to be a lot easier than NFL, you know, picking up keys and tendencies and those things that allow you to play faster. Uh, so it took a lot of pride in that. I was always a student of the game, going, approaching every single week. Um, and I always prided myself on being one of the smartest players on the team, uh, because once you master that, you know, you can play so much quicker and so much faster and you anticipate so many more things before you even see it, which allows you to make more plays and be more productive on the field. Um, that's something that took a lot of pride in. Um, 
but definitely, you know, that's some, that, that's the main scouting report, you know, just be smart and uh, you know, it's coming before it even happens. And now how would you describe the culture of the Kansas state program and how has that prepared you for the next level? Yeah, well, you know, the stereotype of Kansas State is blue collar type mentality. Um, and that's completely true. You know, we, you know, despite our record, uh, you know, what our record is, whether we go to a bowl game or not, um, it's the same mindset, same approach every single day. Um, you know, even like I said, you know, whether the record shows it or not, I do, I do believe Kansas State um, is probably the, one of the most physically and mentally toughest programs to ever play for in college football, uh, especially with Coach Schneider being there the first two years, having him. Uh, super demanding physically and mentally and mentally. Um, and if you can get, if you can, you know, play for coach Snard, you can play for anybody. Uh, and even coach Kleiman as well. You know, he was a great coach, a phenomenal coach that uh, players love to play for, uh, but, you know, just the culture and the program of Kansas state football is something that's very unmatched. Um, you know, I say there's a, you know, just a handful of other teams that um, compare to it. Um, and it's a great place to play. I'm so glad I played here and uh, I had a blast for these last four years. And then, Wyatt, what can you contribute to an NFL team from day one in the position room and on the field? Definitely. Well, at Kansas State, you know, I played multiple different positions, uh, hand down defensive end, three technique, nose guard, um, an outside linebacker. Um, and, you know, my coaches expected me and uh, wanted me to know the playbook at multiple different defensive positions. Um, so that's one thing that I really, you know, preach, preach myself about is my versatility. Um, being able to play multiple different positions and knowing those different positions very well and even playing special teams as well. You know, I have a lot of special team experience. Um, so, you know, I, I do so many different things. I've played so many different places on the field um, and having all those tools and aspects, you know, definitely make me something that I can work with a little bit with coaches uh, just because, you know, a lot of players, you know, going into the draft and every single year um, they've only played one position and never played special teams. Um, and, you know, as good as they are, that they might be at the position that still hurts them a little bit because the lack of um, the lack of diverse um, diversity ha they have overall as a football player. Uh, so all those things help me. That def has definitely going to help me through this whole NFL draft process. Uh, and that's one thing I preach myself about. And now the NFL has become a league of schemes, systems and specialization. Why do you feel that you fit a certain scheme or a certain role best in the league? Yeah, I definitely feel like, um, you know, here here at Kansas State, um, I was a true hand down defensive end and ran a 4-2-5 defense. Uh, but at the next level, um, I definitely see myself as a as a 3-4 outside linebacker uh, with the main two primary responsibilities of setting the edge and rushing the passer. Uh, those are the two things that I'm that I'm mainly um, there to do and two things that I'm very advanced at. So um, definitely fit, fit in the scheme, you know, at the NFL that runs a 3-4. And now, Wyatt, what are your short-term and long-term football goals? Yeah, short-term, I definitely, you know, have a lot of things. Obviously, get drafted within the next month and a half. Um, you know, do, rel do well in OTAs and fall camp and training camp. Um, and just, just have a good rookie season. Uh, you know, start off my career in the NFL strong. And, uh, you know, one thing that I really, really, you know, want to do just for the sake of myself and, and for the program that I'm in, uh, it's definitely earned that respect of all the vets on the team uh, and all the coaches as well. And just uh, start to, you know, earn my stripes again, like I did as a freshman in college from the upperclassmen, uh, kind of that whole ordeal. But long term, you know, I definitely want to play in the NFL for as long as I can, um, you know, make an impact on the culture and the program that I'm a part of um, and definitely win a Super Bowl. Because, you know, that's why we play this game is to win. Um, that's the overall goal of, you know, of playing in the NFL. And now the last football-based question that I have for you, Wyatt, over the years we've seen athletes watch the draft with family, friends, or do other things to enjoy that moment. How do you plan on watching the draft? Yeah, I definitely plan on uh, going back home, um, you know, just having my, def my close friends and family, you know, the people that helped me get to where I am today, um, and just, you know, sitting down and just, you know, sitting in front of the TV and not leaving that spot until I get that phone call. That's how I plan on doing it with, you know, my parents right next to me and my siblings right next to me and my closest friends right next to me. So um, just because, you know, those are the people that helped me got to where I am today. And, uh, you know, without them, you know, I'm super blessed and thankful for everything that they've done for me. Um, you know, me getting that phone call and me making a team is definitely going to be, you know, my way of saying thank you and paying them back for what they helped me do. 
and now Wyatt, we've spent a good amount of time getting to know you on the field, but I have a couple of questions away from the game. If you're ready to take those on. For sure. Let's do it. All right. First one. What's your dream car? Oh, my dream car. Um, my dream car actually does fit my, you know, hopefully will fit my price budget, but is a 2021 Ford Bronco. And they just started making those uh, this last year. And unfortunately, right now, there's there's still a waiting list for um, um, for the Bronco for people because it's such a hot um, commodity uh, just because they haven't been made in so long. So uh, within the next five years, you know, that's my plan to buy one of those because that's been my dream, my dream car ever since I've been little. And now let's stick there. What's your dream vacation? Dream vacation. Uh, Well, you know, growing up in Kansas, you know, um, hunting and fishing, being being an outdoorsman. Uh, it's something that's very common, you know, being a hometown resident from Kansas. Um, that's a lot of thing that that's a big thing that a lot of people from Kansas do. So, um, you know, I've been to the beach a lot of times. I've been out of the country a lot of times to certain beaches. Uh, but, you know, I've always loved to visit uh, Bozeman, Montana. You know, I've seen a lot of great pictures and heard a lot of great things about uh, Bozeman, Montana. It's a great town, a great city, I've heard. So that's definitely a place I want to visit in my near future. Why? you just found a time machine and you can either go back 2,500 years and be king of a large country or fast forward 1,500 years and live on a different planet. What's your choice? You know, living on a different planet would be cool, but, you know, I'd definitely have to say go back 2,500 years and be king of a country. Um, so the reason I say that is because, you know, I don't know. That'd just be something that definitely be an experience for sure. It's like being a pre- it's like being the president of the United States for, for a few years. So definitely got to try that out. And now what's your favorite way to relax after a tough or stressful day? Yeah, definitely just, uh, you know, watching Netflix or something like that. Um, I'm not a huge TV watcher, but when I, but I do sit down at nighttime and relax and, you know, throw on a good show here and there. Um, I'm kind of a gamer as well. You know, I love to play Call of Duty Warzone is one of my main things. I love to play with my friends. Um, but, you know, even just, you know, this is a little different as well. But, you know, I just love to, you know, be out in, in nature. Like I said, I'm outdoorsman. Um, I love to just go out, um, you know, sit in, a, sit, in a, sit, in the, uh, sit in a deer stand or a, a ground blind and, you know, just be out in the nature. And that's something I really enjoy as well, too. And now the last one that I got for you over here, Wyatt. What's a song you're embarrassed to admit you like? So it has to be a bad song, huh? Or it could be a good song. Yeah, just so, something that, you know, what's that guilty pleasure song? You're driving through, you know, wh- wherever. You're, you're on a backcountry road. You got the windows down. No one around you. And you can blare something that you just don't want anyone to know. What's it going to be? Uh, I mean, to be honest, you know, People can hate on this guy as much as they want. Me, I think he's a great artist. You know, good old Justin Bieber. You know, he has some bangers on his playlist. So uh, there's a few songs that, you know, that slaps definitely that he's made. So, you know, I I, I like a few songs that he's made for sure. I'm not embarrassed to say that either. (laughs) Ladies and gentlemen, that is former Kansas State defensive end Wyatt Huber. Like he said, he's been on a mission this training season for the NFL draft to do everything he can to put himself in the best position to contribute from day one. Not only does he want to contribute, he wants to earn the respect of everyone in the organization, just like he did at Kansas State. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, that's Wyatt Hubert. I'm Craig Forrestal. Until next time, stay safe and be easy. Hey everybody, Craig Forstall. Thanks for tuning in and listening to another episode of That Sports Guys podcast. Make sure to follow me on Twitter at that underscore sports underscore guy to catch all the latest updates and podcast episodes. Until next time, stay safe and be easy.